And for those who are pulling the, oh, you would send a black man to jail, yada, yada, yada. Absolutely, because he knew he was black when he decided to, ah. So he's going to have to fight for his freedom now. I'm calling the boys in blue. I don't know how many times I got to say it. I will never take my personal safety lightly. I'm calling the cops if I feel threatened. I don't even allow men to yell at me. Because why are you yelling at me? I'm just a girl. I'm calling the cops if I feel threatened. I don't even allow men to yell at me. I had to say something about this because I'm glad I see somebody else saying it because I also do not allow men to yell at me, like, ever. And I remember when I told my friends this, a few of my friends was like, hmm, and I'm like, yes, you are not allowed to yell at me. You're not allowed to cuss at me. Like, I don't do well with, like, male aggression at all. We can talk about it. You can wait till you calm down and talk about it, but that's it. Like, you call, you got one time <laughs> to raise your voice at me. you damn sure not calling me out my name and you're not cursing at me. And I just, I don't have a reference for that because fortunately for me, I didn't grow up in a household seeing my mom get cussed out or hollered at by a man. Like, my dad never raised his voice at my mom, at least not in front of me. And uh, no man did. So, yeah, I just, I don't deal with that. And I advise women to not do that either because to me, that's the first step when a man is like has no qualms about cussing you out being aggressive towards you the next step after that is violence so yeah i am all for it i, I love what she's talking about absolutely if you're white you're going to jail if you're spanish you're going to jail asian puerto rican whatever it is black you're going to jail it does not matter what matters is the principle as two adults we should be able to talk and try to communicate on what the problem is. I don't think you should be raising your hands on anyone. And as a black man who already know that the system is not in your favor, so you should know. So since we are talking about solely black men, yes, if I'm in a situation and I am dating a black man and that happened, I am absolutely calling the cops and you are absolutely going to jail. And I will reinforce that you do go to jail because you should know better. As a black man, right, you already know the odds are not in your favor. Now, Candace Owens do be talking out of her mouth sometimes, right? But she's not always wrong. She is not always wrong, okay? So imagine you already knowing that the system is not in your favor. So instead of you trying to prevent yourself from ending up in the system, you, you actually end up doing everything to put you in the system. And you raising your hand on the person that you're dating for the video's sake, you raising your hand on the person that you're dating and expecting them not to call the cops and put you to jail solely because you're a black man has no ground. Because if you cared about ending up in jail, you should have thought about that before you put your hands and foot on the person that you are dating that you call you so claim to love so much. And that's the problem with um our community because we we idolize we glorify dv and before you know it it becomes too late and what we're doing is we're saying oh well i don't want to call the cops on a black man because you know how cops are and you know how the system is well this black man does not care about himself so why do you Hell, he doesn't care about himself, so he damn sure does not care about you. So it's going to go from a small shove to a you know a yelling at you here and there to next you know you are six feet under, you know, because that's usually how it ends up. If especially if you allow it, I actually broke up with the man because he raised his voice at me and I didn't like it. I did not like it because let me tell you, my parents, my father, my mother have never raised their voice at me. And if it is like raising their voice at me, it's because of something that I actually deserve. And it's never, you know, actually putting their hands on me. If my parents does not raise their voice at me, who are you to raise your voice at me? And if I allow it, I'm even worse than you are if i allow you to do that to me and it doesn't matter if you're black white spanish asian like i said before the same rules apply and that's that's how it all starts you allow him to to shove you today right playing games he start with the shove 
you know, shove you off the bed and you laugh at it. And that's how a lot of men try to trick you. So first of all, they will let you tell them the story about how your ex used to put put their hands on you and now he's listening out, right? So now he's going to test you. He's going to test you. So he's going to shove you off the bed and see how you react. You don't react, you know, out of pocket. You don't say anything crazy to him because he did that to you. Now he thinks it's funny because you think it's funny. Next, you know, the next thing is going to happen is he's going to give you a bigger shove another day. He's not going to do this the same day. He's going to just test you out, just like testing the water. And then afterwards, it's going to be a push. Then it's going to be a kick. Then next, you know, it's going to be a slap. And before you know it, you are in a whole physical fight with this person. And that's how it all starts. And when you get to that point, you don't want to be like, oh, well, he's a black man. I don't want him in the system. We got kids together. He thought he should have thought of that before. He should have thought of that before. So I do agree with these young ladies saying that they do not care that you are black because black men do not care that you are a black woman who basically the odds are against you as well. So instead of coming together, you're in, you're doing that to, to her because you're putting in your head that, oh, she's not going to call the cops on me because I'm a black man and she don't want to put me in the system. So therefore, it's just going to go like that. And it's going to just snowball and then it's going to just get worse. It's going to get out of control. And by the time, by the time other people start getting involved, it's going to be way too late. So yes, use utilize the system. And if you have to put that person in jail, call the cops, do that because you don't want that person to continue to do that. And next you know, before you know it, you don't even have a chance to call the cops the next time. So no, I will not stand by and say, oh, well, I'm not going to call the cops because he's a black man and he deserves a fair, a fair shot at life. Well, like I said before, you should have thought of that before. Should have thought of that before. And I I have. I actually did break up with this man because he raised his voice at me. And when he wanted to know what was the reason I wanted to break up, that was the reason. I did not break up with him that same night. It was just like, okay, well, we, I was upset. And then we had, we spent the night or whatever we were doing that night. And then afterwards, I just told him when I was at my house, of course, I told him, hey, I don't like what you did, and I don't think you saw it as what I saw it as. So because of that, you know, I cannot continue to see you again. And he thought it was ridiculous that I could not continue to see him because of this very minor thing. Yeah, this very minor thing was a big deal to me. And you didn't seem to care that it was a big deal to me. And the fact that you were so okay with doing that lets me know that you will be okay with doing other things that I most likely would not be okay with. So yeah, before it gets that far, I'm going to nip it in the bud now and that's gonna be it. Well, he wasn't happy about that, but eh. Eh. you should have thought about that before. Yeah, sometimes you have to be able to just cut people off, call the police if you have to, do whatever you need to do because at the end of the day, you is what matters, okay? You're the reason you're you as well matter. You are the only person that matters at the end of the day because you have to answer for yourself at the end of the day. So yeah, guys. Uh yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video.